Hello everybody, thank you for joining me today. Today I am going to update you guys on how my Hoya are doing and a few other plants that I have sitting on that shelf. So if you guys watched my dining room plant tour, um, you would see that my Hoyas sit furthest away from the south facing window on a shelf and they weren't doing so great. A lot of you suggested that I get a grow light to put over near my Hoyas so they can get more of the light because that's probably what they were lacking. So I'm going to update you guys on those plants and I'm going to tell you quickly about the grow light. So I was searching for a grow light and doing some research on some grow lights that would help my Hoya and I was contacted by a company called Sansi and they asked me if I wanted to try out one of their grow lights and I was like perfect timing yes please send it to me my Hoyas are in desperate need of light so they sent it out to me so I've been trying it for probably the last I would say about three weeks or so I did unbox it originally on my what I got from Amazon video I will link that up above um, if you guys are interested if you missed that video but I'm going to talk about the grow light here real quick so we can get on to the most important part the plants so this is what the grow light looks like it does um, it is waterproof so it is you can put it in a greenhouse with humidity um, it is rain resistant I don't need any of that stuff because it's obviously in my house but um, that is one of the features of this grow light. I'm not going to bore you guys with all of the um, specs and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I will just let you know real quick that it does have um, certain percentages of blue, green, red, and then far red light that make up um, the, the white light. So this grow light does mimic sunlight. So it's a full spectrum grow light so this gives your plants everything that it needs so so I thought that was really um, a good feature about this grow light um, so those are some of the the pros of this um, also a pro is this thing does not get hot um, it does have some ceramic plates that filter the heat and the only thing that I would say is a con is that it's it's a little bit heavy and I did have it sitting on some glass shelves so I was a little bit nervous that it was gonna break my shelves so I did um, I'll insert a, a little clip here show you how I had my light set up first so this is how I first had it set up it was kind of just standing up facing the plants but I didn't I felt that it wasn't getting the plants were not getting enough light that way so then I moved it to the other side and shine the light down onto the plants which I think helped much better I did try to I did try to use the wire that it came with um, so it this part here does um, screw off so it comes all the way off Okay, and then you can um, screw this part here on this little hole here. And then it has this little part that screws off and you can just put this in. And then the light can hang from um, the ceiling or wherever you need it to hang from so it does shine down on your plants this way. But it didn't work for me. Um, I tried to, so I did try to rig it to where it was um, hanging above my shelf hanging so it could shine down on the plants so I was just really nervous that if it fell that it would break my shelves because they're glass so I chose not to hang it up that way but you can um, they say that you can hang it from the ceiling um, you can hang it this way you can change it and do it this way but I just chose to um, set it up on my table like this and it shined down onto the plant so that worked perfectly fine for me 
I guess it really doesn't matter how you hang it or which way you put it as long as it's it is shining down onto your plants and giving them that light that they need you can hang it any way that you choose so overall I did like the light it was very bright and I think most of the plants responded very well to it I am going to continue to use it I will leave the link down below in the description um, if you guys want to take a look at it um, it is a unique light um, Sansi is the only brand that has um, a product like this one on the market so it is a very neat light but let's see if it helped my plants or not so the first so the first plant that this light was shining on is this Hoya so this plant did not really respond to the light I think this plant is just too far gone um, I don't know I don't know what's wrong with this I try to you know watch the watering I wait until it's fully dry to water it I use my moisture meter on it and gauge it that way um, it does have 10 11 12 12 leaves I mean at least it has 12 leaves left but the leaves just aren't you know thick they're kind of thin and I don't know I don't know if I this plants just too far gone but I don't really think that the um, this plant responded to the light but that is the first plant so the second one is this Hoya and I think that this Hoya did well under the light um, this little stem here was drooping down and now it's kind of sticking straight up straight up to the light I guess and um, I do think that this one did benefit from the grow light so there's that one it's doing much better than it was without the light and I also had this little um, goldfish plant under the light just because I put it close to um, the south facing window and let me see if I can show you um, it was getting burned the leaves were getting burned so I decided to pull it away from the window I tried to pull all the leaves off that were burned um, just because I didn't think they were benefiting the plant and they were a little bit ugly on the plant but um, I don't know if you can see this is one of them it's still has a little burn mark on it but a lot of the leaves were burned um, so I try you know I was like hey let me just try to put it under the grow light the grow light does not burn the plant it does have um, new growth so there's one there and these ones are new here so it has these two little ones here it does have some new growth on here so this plant definitely benefited from the grow light so I'm excited for that I'm gonna definitely keep this plant under the grow light so the next plant that I had under the grow light was this reverted arrowhead plant and this is one of my favorite plants um, I did get this I think it was Hertz I think um, but it does have new growth now so it has this one here and it has this one here so I'm definitely excited I'm going to keep this plant under the grow light as well it responded very well to it so I have three more plants that were under the grow light and this is the next one so I don't know if you guys remember this plant if you did not see my um, I think it was my unboxing of five different plants I will try to link it um, I'll try to either put it up above here somewhere or I'll link it down below but this is one of the plants that I got from online and it is a philodendron micans when I first got it it just had this sad looking little stem with um, a couple of leaves it has since grown um, this leaf and it has grown this new leaf and it is growing a new leaf here and then it did start growing another vine so this whole vine um, grew so much more so it, it did start growing without the grow light but once I put the grow light it under the grow light um, it did grow this leaf this leaf this leaf and now another leaf so it really responded well to the grow light I'm so excited because this plant I thought it was 
I thought it was just gonna die. It was one, one single vine, but now I'm really super excited. I'm hoping that um, I can maybe propagate it in the future and get it to be a full plant. So this one definitely responded well um, under the grow light. Okay, so the next Hoya that was under the grow light is this one here. So this one wasn't doing too bad. Um, it, was, it didn't really have any new growth, but it wasn't shriveling up. It wasn't getting brown and dying. Um, but when I did put it under the grow light, it got a new leaf. So this one here is a new leaf. Um, I don't know if you can see the pink around the edges, but it only got one new leaf, but at least it got a new leaf because this plant really wasn't doing too much, which is fine. It's a beautiful plant and it wasn't dying, but I definitely think that it did respond well to that grow light. Okay, so the last plant that was under the grow light was another Hoya. And it is this one here. So I didn't think this one was gonna make it either. It did respond well to the grow light because it got this new leaf here. It got, actually it got this new leaf first and then it got this one not too long ago. I'm gonna say this one has been um, for about a week now maybe. And then it got this new leaf here. So I definitely think that this plant responded well to the grow light. So I'm definitely going to keep these plants under the grow light. Um, I really like this grow light. I do have one that is the purple and pinkish color. The color really doesn't bother me too much um, just because if it's helping my plants I really don't care. But I really do like this grow light. I think that it's a pretty cool light. It's very bright, um, as you could see in the little video clip that I showed you. Okay, you guys, so I hope this video was helpful and informative. I'm thankful that I have this light because it did help my plants. And the best part about this video, other than my plants doing better, is that this company said they were going to give one person one one of these grow lights so um, I'm gonna do a giveaway I'm going to ask that you are subscribed to my channel and that you leave a comment down below the company will pick one person from the comments to give this light to and I do believe they said they were gonna do some um, discount codes as well so I will leave those down in the description box Give this video a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more plant videos. And I just want to thank everybody for watching. And until next time, guys, bye.